Welcome to the new episode of The Game Changers. Our hosts Tariq Saeed and Mukesh Bawanani bring you Mr. Abdullah Al Abdul Salam, CEO of Abram International and Chairman of 8 Group, Muscat and Dubai. Mr. Abdullah Al Abdul Salam, businessman, published author and philanthropist with charitable activities that include caring for orphans and voluntary counseling in youth development projects. Mr. Abdullah, please tell us something about your childhood, about your special relationship with your mother, with your aunt. I was lucky in two senses. One is that I was born at an area where the family ties were very strong. So as children at that time, we had a lot of emotional wealth. Love was not just coming. You didn't have to wait until you were married between you and one. We had love coming from our mothers, our aunts, our uncles, because it was still the community times where they were very strong. That was one. Two, I was fortunate in that my mother left my father when she was pregnant with me, six months pregnant. That meant she went back to her father's house, my grandfather. But my grandfather at that time was too old to even notice anything. He just cared for his health. He was an old man. So he was there, but not really there. So who was there in the house? It was my mother and her sister, my aunt. So they were the people controlling the house. So I'm fortunate I'm a man raised by women. So for me, women from childhood, women are not a body or a wife. Women, they were human beings. Women, they were people. Women, they were leaders because they led me to grow. So I was fortunate in that. So when I grew up, now I can see women as people. I can see women as a person. And I can also see them respectfully. So for me, respecting them and acknowledging their rights is not just uh, being political right. So this is where the idea came of uh, Women's Park, or we can call it a ladies' city. They say we have to serve women. Uh, we have to develop women. But you notice, they're all press releases or press conferences or seminars. But nobody comes with actual projects. You cannot develop women by just talking about developing women. That's right. You have to come up with re real on the ground projects that do serve women. So we'll create a place, a ladies' city, where the top brands, good quality brands, in a shopping area with a nice cafes, easy place, with a, be with a beach club on the beachfront, where a woman can go to an area where they can shop, where go women who really want to shop. All those shops, all those franchises in that zone have to be owned by women. And the workers have to be women. So we are creating not only an environmentally healthy and respectful shopping area for women, but we are creating jobs for women. We are creating small businesses for women. Because any franchise in that zone has to be owned by a woman and a woman who is running it. Any ladies who wants to own a shop there, she has to be the one working on it. This we guarantee somebody who is in business who's got a family to feed. Secondly, we are providing jobs also for the graduates, an opportunity small business for graduates. For an example, the coffee, sh the coffee, the cafe is there will have to be owned by graduates of the Catherine uh, College. Um, the, uh, for example, the computer shop there will have to be owned by the, a graduate of IT college. This is the concept. Tell us a secret. What was the turning point of your life? We are the generation that we are raised with this new thing called oil. We were children, and suddenly we woke up this morning seeing European faces in our country. When we ask, they say they are here to get out of the ground something called oil. Now, oil suddenly, overnight, brought cars, 
brought modern education, brought new trades, uh, brought new business opportunities. So that was a turning point in my generation. We could see life beyond just growing dates or being shepherds. Suddenly there are new ways of life, new ways of businesses, new ways of trading. So it was a turning point for my generation. Then personally, that was in the 60s for the changes. Uh, turning point personally for me was in 1993. I'd graduated by that time, worked for the government for two years, and I woke up just one morning practically just while shaving go to work, I realized, can we just get up every day in the morning, shave, shower, dress, just to go and do the same thing you did yesterday, before yesterday? Is that life? And it was very interesting for me because I just woke up, went to the office, asked my boss if I can re resign the same day. And he said, you have to give a 30 days notice. So I said, I have one month leave, so I'll apply for a leave from today. But after 30 days, just consider my demonstration. And I just left on the spot. I started uh, business, and even though it was difficult, but the, it was difficult to start a business at that time because you had nothing to uh, look at. When I was, this, um, was in 1993, because we were the first one into this new world, the new oil world. So your father was a f either a fish, that time in Arabia, your father was just either a fisherman or a, a farmer. So you had no uh, reference point to go to. You have no father or uncle who could be a guiding force in your life or as a mentor. Because they were in a different world with a different trading. Either it was selling produce, farming produce, or they were selling fish. And you are going into new businesses now that are related to the oil economy. So it was difficult in that sense. You have no, no re uh, reference point. But at the same time, there was opportunity because there was only few because you were starting. If whatever you wanted to open, it was new for the country. Secondly, the banks has just opened. They needed customers. So if you went to the bank, instead of begging them, they welcome you. So we took advantage of that. Uh, in my case, for example, I did not need to take anyone based from any one of my parents because the banks were cooperating because they just opened their doors and they needed customers. So at that time was interesting in that sense. It was a turning point with certain difficulties but also with certain opportunities. Abdullah, tell us about your days of hard work and efforts, being a one-man army and struggling and trying to cope up with the time. Well, when I started at the dam at that time, you were given a loans by the bank to start a business, but they will just give you a certain capital because you are starting. What they will say is, you don't have a business record yet for us to give you a facility of a certain level. So you have to start at a certain level. And when you start, you always start with the departments where they call small business, small loans, means a certain category. So that is enough for you to start a business, but not for you to be able to buy all the things and employ all the stuff that you may need. So at the beginning of my life, I found myself, I'm the owner, I'm the managing director, I'm the PRO, I'm the driver, I'm the cleaner, you everything, because you do not have yet the funds to be employing other people. So that was the struggle. The struggle was so much that the weekend was not time off for me. No, the weekend meant just you don't talk to outsiders and you don't go to outsiders, you plan the week ahead. So you actually really work seven days a week. That was the struggle you faced at the beginning. That continues about two years, and I was at age 29 at that time. Uh, I just had finished my first degree studies and my, my first master. So at that age also is an interesting age because you are no longer a child but you are not only a full adult, you, are not, you, know, you don't have the wisdom of 40s or 50s. So you are 29, but it was even worse in our part of the world in the sense, as I said earlier, you have nobody in the family to refer to. All your uncles and your father, they were of the pre-oil generation, so they could not help you. 
So that was also the struggle was part of that. And even if you read books, business books were written in America or in France, which is a different environment you are in. So if you, even if you read them, they don't help you.